What is going on, YouTube? It's boy Duke back here. A lot of shit went down yesterday, actually. Um, after that shooting of Philando Castiel, we had a massive shooting down in Dallas. Would this have happened if those uh, passengers, the driver, the passenger were white? I don't think it would have. Um, some people attack police officers uh, purposely to kill them and nothing more. A lot of things that led up to a lot of things lead up to this situation right now. Black Lives Matter is pushing people to do these types of things and Black Lives Matter to me is a terrorist organization and I'm going to give you a few facts in this video as to why a lot of you out there are not going to agree with me. Don't want to listen to it. Stop the video now. If we check out a website, it's called Officer Down Memorial Page. Um, as of 2016, 53 officers have died in the line of duty. This is the Officer Down Memorial Page. You can go to this odmp.org gunfire. Gunfire. Automobile accident, Homeland Security investigation, vehicular assault, gunfire, gunfire, aircraft accident, gunfire, 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 auto accident, and it goes on. Majority of these are obviously gunfire. Let's go to the gun violence archive. You can see right here, there's been a total of 27,390 incidents, 7,088 people have died, 14,607 are injured, number of children killed or injured from 0 to 11 is 314. Number of teens, 12 to 17, killed or injured is 1,500. Mass shootings, 179. Officer involved incident, 168. Officer involved incident, perpetrator shot, killed, 946. Home invasions, about 1,200. Defensive use, 842. And accidental shootings, about 12. After the shooting, Mark Dayton had some shit to say. Mark Dayton is a horrible governor. He's probably the worst governor in the country. Would this have happened if those uh, passengers, the driver, the passenger were white? I don't think it would have. There's a statement everyone's talking about today. It's a high possibility that they're guilty from the video that we've seen. The evidence that has been presented to us is all we have to go off of, and that's all he's going off of right now. As governor, you need to take a lot more consideration before you make statements like this. You need to have full knowledge on the investigation. Would this have happened if they were white people? You cannot make that statement. That is a racist statement. That is a racist comment. White people are expected to sit back and just take it because that is just the way our society has been built right now on political correctness. And then. Shortly after he makes this statement, a massive Dallas shooting goes on, where a guy claimed Black Lives Matter is what made me want to shoot white officers. From the Lone Star State here on RT International, at least four police officers have been shot and seven injured during a Black Lives Matter rally against police brutality in Dallas. <laughs> What did President Obama say about this situation? As I said in the statement that I posted on Facebook, we have seen tragedies like this too many times. The Justice Department, I know, has opened a civil rights investigation in Baton Rouge. Uh, the governor of Minnesota, I understand, is calling for an investigation there as well. Uh, as is my practice, uh, given my institutional role, uh, I can't comment on the specific facts of these cases. And I have full confidence in the Justice Department's ability to conduct a thorough and fair inquiry. Now that how I started out a speech, Mark Dayton. I'm not a big fan of Obama, but that is exactly how you have to start out this type of speech. You can't come into it and start blaming people because of their race. You can't do that. I mean, how can you stop a set of people, a certain race of people from being arrested continuously if you don't address the issues at the core here? Why is a majority of African-American families missing a father? You know, why are we not giving them the education that they need? Why are we not going into their community and stepping up with the community leaders and saying, hey, you know, why don't we address the situations that we're having? There's been a lot of shootings, a lot of arrests. There's been a lot of crimes in this area, a lot of criminal activity in this area, and we would like to clean it up. Let's come in. Let's build a community center. Let's build a basically like a college that they can go and get educated at for, you know, pretty much free. You know, let's let's give them an education. Let's give them opportunities that they don't have. Um, 
and we have been denying them opportunities because to the government it's easier to just give them money to live on, to give them welfare, to give them food stamps, to give them whatever they need to survive, and to just ignore them after that point. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day, right? Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. Well, the government essentially is giving them food on a daily basis instead of teaching them how to acquire income to get that food. And Black Lives Matter is probably the biggest perpetrator of racial tension in this country today. Black people, Latinos, a majority of them live in high impoverished areas. And what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to rebuild these areas. These are parts of America that are deprived, depressed, and always run under democratic rule. Always show me show me a state that is run by Democrats and I will show you an impoverished area. What we need to do and what the president needs to do is he needs to step up and say, look, enough is enough. I'm the president of the United States and you're gonna fucking listen to me now, okay? And we're gonna clean this shit up and we need to stop this ridiculous amount of arrests for no reason whatsoever. We need to stop this ridiculous amount of violence for no reason whatsoever. We need to go in and we need to fucking build schools and we need to help these people build their communities better and we need to give these people education that they need so that they can actually become the citizens that they want to be. Without giving these people those things, you're not giving them opportunities to advance in life. And if you don't get to the core of the issue, you are never, ever gonna change the problems that is associated with the issue. You can't fix a cold without sleeping and drinking water. You can't fix poverty by making some stupid fucking guidelines for the police force to follow. I get it. People don't trust the police. They don't. No, Nobody trusts them anymore. There's a majority of people out there, even white people don't trust police anymore. We just don't trust them. A lot of people look at police as they are not there to protect the community and they're not there to protect you. I've spoken to several police officers. Um, you have to understand that police officers have a very stressful job. I mean, extremely stressful. Imagine coming to work every day, having someone throw a camera in your face while you're trying to work, constantly recording you, aggravating you, trying to get you to snap every day. Now, put 12-hour shifts on top of that. Put long shifts on top of that. Put events on top of that, like 4th of July, Memorial Day, New Year's Eve. Put alcohol in with it. Put drugs in with it. That's what they go through on a daily basis. That's what they have to do. They are constantly being recorded and they're constantly being stressed. A police officer tells you to do something, you need to do it, okay? They are the authority. They are the law. If they're saying, stop, put your hands up, guess what? You stop, you put your fucking hands up. It's not that complicated. We've got police officers being shot for no reason by Black Lives Matter terrorist organizations. I mean, the term Black Lives Matter to me is racist and terrorist right off the bat. You have one identified just one race and you've excluded all other races from it. You said Black Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter only. That is a racist statement. What if I made a group that said White Lives Matter? You know how much backlash there would be from a, a statement like that? Donald Trump came out and he said, White Lives Matter organization, I'm creating it. Could you imagine the media firestorm that would happen from that? I mean, we would automatically be labeled racists, bigots. We'd be automatically be the worst people in the world because we don't worry about anybody else but ourselves. But when a group called Black Lives Matter wants to exist, it's okay. And that comes to a new issue that's settling with Americans right now is racial crime. There's a huge push to um, charge people with racial profiling crimes. So for an example, let's say a black person and a white person get into an argument and they get into a fight and the white person ends up shooting the black person just for, just for namesake. It should be considered a hate crime because he was white and he shot a black guy. Is that right? Is that fair? Where do you draw the line and where do you balance it? Can white people be a target for hate groups? Can they be? Is it possible for a white group to be targeted by black people? Is it possible? We don't know because it's such a new area and it's such a new territory. What, what I believe is happening is white people are the baseline. Everybody else around the white person is oppressed. White people oppress everybody around them. It's all our fault. It's always been our fault. It's my fault. I haven't even oppressed people, but for some reason it's my fault the day I was born. If you were born white today and you're a male, guess what? You're automatically a racist. You may have not have even said one word out of your entire existence of life and you're a racist and you're oppressing people automatically just because you exist. That is it. Just because you exist, you're a racist. And those are the statements that are making it impossible for us to basically get rid of the racial problems we have within this country. We need to come together as a country, we need to come together as a people, and we need to find common ground. The president's not doing that. The government's not doing that. And we're basically, as citizens, tasked with doing that ourselves. I don't see how, you know, all the races to merge together to be one basically happy society until the government steps in and does what it's supposed to do until it does properly what it's supposed to do and gets rid of all this political nonsense and comes in and says, okay, let's train you, let's educate you, let's you know build a better community, let's come in, 
let's clean up the community. Let's let's go into these impoverished areas and let's pull the people out. Let's feed them. Let's clothe them. You know, let's get them an education. Start rebuilding their homes. Show them how to rebuild their homes. Remove the drugs. Remove the violence. Remove those things from the community. Those are what is going to make these people feel like they're not profiled on a daily basis. The quality of life will go up. The crime will go down. That's my final statement, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys have hey, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button over here in the corner if you enjoyed it. Check out other videos by us. I have a weekly vlog that's on Honest Reactions. You can go check out our Honest Reactions channel it's, um, over here somewhere in our sub channels where we've got Drunk Effects, Honest Reactions, DFXG. Honest Reactions channel will be our main reactions channel going forward as of August 1st. I will still be putting out my political videos on this channel, so stay around here for that. But if you want to pay attention to my weekly vlog, go ahead and check it out over there. I'll link the latest one down in the comments below here so you guys can just click it and go check it out. Please make sure to subscribe to both channels if you can. Make sure to like and comment if at all possible if you enjoyed our content. Also check out DrunkFX.com, at DrunkFX on Twitter. Thank you guys very much.